Hey, it's Danny Walsh from Clark Global in Preston, and in this video, I want to show you something real quick which may or may not work for you in your angling. This is the PB Products Hit and Run ready made leader. Now, they're available in two different types, and um, basically, the Hit and Run leader works in a way with the Hit and Run components to allow. I don't know if you can see, the lead is actually looped over in through this little gap in the actual clip. And it, the lead is actually looped over the clip, which allows when the fish pulls for the leader to actually pull through like this. But if you do snap above the leader, the fish can actually get rid of the rig rather than just the lead. So it gets rid of the lead and the rig, right? So the hit and run, there's loads of videos on this on the internet. And you can check out my video, you can check out the PB products videos, etc, etc. And what's occurred to me, because you have got this little recess where you can actually thread the leader back on itself over the lead clip or over, uh, if you're using the inline version, uh, back over itself to actually make the system work, it occurred to me that we could actually do a little hack here which would turn your standard hit and run system into what is effectively the hermit rig now if you never used the hermit rig before it basically deploys a little piece of pole elastic now what course anglers use in, in in the poles and that elastic allows for like a bungee rig effect right so what it's going to do is it's going to mean that when the fish picks up the bait when the fish pulls on that leader the elastic's going to pull back so the fish can't jettison the rig as easy just like the bungee rig right so there's a bungee rig there's a hermit rig again check these out on um, youtube but if you know what i'm talking about you know so this is how you hack your hit and run system with a bit of pole elastic to make yourself an instant hermit rig that's still super safe right and i'll show you exactly how that works in a second so look look two minutes of your time and if you're losing fish or you're getting a couple of bleeps in the night and, you, and you're reeling in and realizing you've been done this might make the difference between blanking and, and catching right and i can't wait to try this out myself I've just done a little experiment to make sure I know what I'm talking about. But so far, so good. It looks safe. I need your opinion. I need you to comment down below what you actually think. But this is all you're going to do, right? You, you've bought the ready-made hit-and-run leader system or you've set it up yourself. Whichever way you do that, you've got the hit-and-run set up properly with the leader gone through, loop back over itself, etc., etc. Follow the instructions. So what that means is you can pull the swivel out from the clip while everything's still attached and you've got the tail rubber slid up the the leader right so all we're going to do is dead dead simple right all we're going to do is sit, send our baiting needle this is pb products lipped baiting needle we're going to send this through that little recess in the hit and run clip you can see where i'm going with this right we're just going to loop the elastic over and make sure we can grab it and pull it through which clearly we can so we're going to pull the elastic through we're going to grab one end we're going to feed that end through that swivel like so and then what we're going to do is pull the end that we just pull, pull through back the other way right so you see where i'm going with this in a second so this time i'll send the needle back through the other way i'm sure there's possibly a quicker way to do this but this will be the second time i've done it we'll send the needle back the other way and we'll grab the other end of the elastic that we've just threaded through make sure that that's get secured in the needle make sure we keep hold of everything looks a bit fiddly but it's not really if i wasn't on camera it'd be a lot easier uh, and all we're going to do is just pull that back the other way right so what we've done is we've come through uh the eye of the swivel and we've taken the elastic back through the clip so let's pull that through so now if i pull that what we've got is we've got both ends of the elastic coming back through the clip but they've gone round the swivel you see where i'm going with this you guys pull the leader so that the leader everything's flush the swivel's stuck back in where it belongs in the, in the front of the clip and just pull on the shorter tag end of the elastic so that everything evens itself out and you've got equal takes a little bit of a, a pull and you've got roughly equal elastic ends right that's all you need to do make sure the swivel is popped back in and that there's no play in the leader so you're back to normal but what you've done is you've effectively sent a loop of elastic around the swivel and back through so all we need to do now is secure this elastic using the tail rubber 
which is already up, up on my leader up here. Again, you'll need the baiting needle for this. It won't just naturally go through. So send your baiting needle from uh, the top end, from the rod end, through your tail rubber. You're going to grab both ends of the elastic this time. And this is a bit of a, a pie in the sky to start with, a bit of a hack. But when you pull this back through, watch what happens. All the elastic comes through. And now, obviously, you can put your lead on at this stage. You can secure your lead as, as you would normally do so the lead will fall off anyway all you need to do is tease your tail rubber over and make sure that you just pull on that elastic so everything goes back together so now what you've done if you look here is you've actually hacked or modified your lead clip uh, your hit and run system so when the, when you put your rig on here we go we just had a, a pb products uh, ready tied uh, rig at this stage Again, a little bit fiddly just to, to get these on at the first instance with these little quick change swivels. Uh, da, 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 da. Danny needs probably needs glasses now, but there you go. Uh, thread that on. I'm trying to watch on the camera at the same time. Secure that with your little um, anti-tangle sleeve or, or however you set that up. So you put the rig onto the system, right? So that's normally ready to cast, but in the normal world, you would have just added the lead. You wouldn't have added the elastic. But what happens when the fish picks the bait up and the hook catches the bottom lip, as the fish pulls, the hit and run system kicks in, right? So normally, the leader will come out and allow the pulley system to operate, right? So it's going to hit and run. But have you seen what the elastic's doing now, you guys? And if you just pull that rig so that your elastic's just about going back in, but you've managed to pull a little bit of this into the tail rubber, you just line that up like that. The system's ready to go, as you would expect. But what you've done is you've created this reverse tension, which means, and you can test this on your finger, if you get the hook in your finger, and these are super sharp hooks, if you try and give that any pressure, what will happen is the elastic will pull back. And that means that a fish trying to... You can feel that sticking into your finger, right? As a fish tries to get away, it's not got the instant running rig that the hit and run provides. It's actually being pulled back as though you've tied the very fiddly hermit rig. And I just like woke up in the middle of the night and thought, oh my God, this will actually work because you've got that little recess in the hit and run system. Now, obviously, nobody wants a big fluorescent orange thing on the bottom of the lake so once you've got this set what you might consider doing is cutting these off at the end of the tail rubber obviously don't cut through your leader and then just use like a, a sharpie or a jag uh, solutions pen or whatever just to camouflage the elastic or go and buy yourself some green elastic it's great for um showing you with this high vis stuff but once you've got this down nice and neat whether you use the lead clip version or the inline version which actually gives you a little bit more uh, room to maneuver on the inline version which is probably going to be better whichever way you choose you've actually created a very discreet bungee or hermit the hermit one is the one that sort of comes out of the tube the bungee rig is where you tie the elastic into the actual rig itself but either way i don't think anybody's done that and if they are doing it they're a, a clever so-and-so and those clever so-and-sos are probably landing more fish because as soon as the fish feels resistance on the hook it's inclined to shake its head and they know if they do that usually the, you, you know, the, the rig will go slack, the hook will come out and off they go. But if they've got that even, that tiny, like half an inch of tension, the fish tries shaking its head and the rig's pulling back. There's only one way that fish is going to go and that's away from you, as far away from you as possible, right? So this, I can feel it working, it's stuck in my finger. Try it, colour it right in, camouflage it. Maybe PB products will just bring it out as a, an actual bungee hermit, so show it at Carp Global first, Danny Super System, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, but I know that this is going to revolutionise somebody's fishing today. Go try it, you guys. It's Danny from Carp Global in Preston. I will see you on the next video, and if you don't know about P uh, PB products and hit and run, all you need to do is go to our website, which is carp-shop.co.uk. I'll see you on the next video, you guys. Bye-bye.